Hey guys, here's my Steam Deck and I'm going to show you how I run Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on the Steam Deck. Here I have a USB hub which is powering a external 1TB SSD drive and has all the various things plugged in such as the TV monitor and my uh, Thrustmaster T16000M uh, joystick and throttle. So I'm going to show you the best settings I've managed to achieve to get a relatively good experience. This is just a wee sample of both the cockpit view and I'll show you briefly the external view as well. Running approximately 25 frames per second which is about what you're going to get on this Steam Deck if you're wanting to have a lot of the graphics turned up to a decent level. So to access Windows on the Steam Deck we need to hold the power button down and volume down button just for a couple of seconds to access the Steam OS boot manager. And from here I'm going to select my Samsung portable SSD T7 um, hard drive and this is where my Windows installation is. Now this is a great little wee hard drive to get. It can support speeds up to 1000 megabytes a second which is going to really help you when it comes time to playing games like Flight Simulator that are streaming a lot of data and needs access to it quickly. I thought I would leave this in here just to show you how long it takes to boot into Windows from the Steam Deck which as you can see is not actually very long at all. Um, and once we're into Windows everything boots up very quickly and it is actually a wonderful experience having Windows 10 on the Steam Deck. Now I'm going to go into the actual settings that I have set up for Microsoft Flight Simulator inside the actual app just to show you what I have figured out to be the best settings. So if we navigate to general options here we'll have the graphics settings. You can see I have TAA selected and I have a resolution of 900p. I've also got the render scale set to 90 just to bring it back a bit so it's not running at full 900p but pretty close. Most settings are on medium and I've scaled back the object level of detail uh, just to take some of the pressure off the GPU and most other settings here are on low to off and a lot of these other things here you really don't need uh, to have a great experience. With traffic I've actually got everything on if I wanted to get the frame rate up a little bit more, I could probably turn a lot of that off, which maybe I will do. Also with the data streaming, I could turn some of those off, which would improve it further. I just haven't bothered yet. Uh, with the developer mode switched on, we're able to see that I'm running at roughly around 25 frames per second. Um, and when you get up into the higher atmosphere, it can easily get up into the 30s with this setting. Um, I am parked on the ground at a terminal at the moment in the background which is why it's running at 25 frames a second but the experience is still fantastic and I was running a 3060 12 gigabyte graphics card on my desktop and that was getting around 40 frames a second playing on 25 frames a second I don't notice a big difference. I know a lot of people are all about 60 frames a second and, and if it's not a locked 30 frames a second it's no good. But that's just really not true. The camera maybe doesn't pan quite as smoothly but it's absolutely fine for what you want to have on the Steam Deck and you're still going to have a fun, really fun experience and it's still going to be very immersive and enjoyable. Here you can see on the graphics display settings that I have my desktop resolution set to 1440p as it's a 2k display. I've changed this to 1080p and it doesn't really improve the frame rate so I don't think that matters but what does matter is selecting the Microsoft Flight Simulator under the performance feature and making sure it is set to high performance not power saving as that will also help to achieve a better frame rate. 
as you can see this is running on the Steam Deck as you can see the custom GPU of the Steam Deck there. One other important detail I should mention is I have found the newest APU drivers supplied by Valve do not play nicely with Flight Simulator in my testing. So I had to uninstall the latest one which only came out in March just recently and revert back to version 22 so that I could get Flight Simulator running again as normal. So just please be aware of this uh, upgrade. It is not necessarily playing nicely at the moment with Flight Simulator in my testing. So with that said, let's jump in our Baron G58 and take off on the Steam Deck to see what this baby can do. So as you can see, it's a pretty impressive experience. Even though it's not running at a full 30 frames a second, you'd hardly notice the difference. And if this is all you have, this is a fantastic option. But why don't we go into the settings and let's see if we can boost the performance a little bit. Let's put the developer mode on and debug to display the frames per second. Here you can see that we're fluctuating in the high 20s, which is not terrible. Once we start resuming the game again, you'll notice that it stays around 23 to 24 frames a second, which is not a bad experience either. And if you didn't have the frames per second counter there, you would not let this ruin your experience, because it is still stunning. Even in 900p and as you can see in the cockpit view here we're getting a few higher frames a second but I think we can push this maybe just a little bit further why don't we go back into the options and see if we can tweak some of those other uh, secondary settings such as the data settings here let's turn some of these off that. We've got all the traffic AI set on but let's just turn the traffic off and yeah I think we'll try that to start with. Let's just even, even just doing that we should notice a small difference. So here we are getting higher 28 29 frames a second now even just doing that one little change. But even in external view, it's probably only a couple of frames difference. But if you're not bothered by the frames, then honestly, set it to medium settings, as I've shown you. And you'll just have a fantastic experience if you forget all about counting the frames. Just get lost in the moment and enjoy the beautiful scenery that this game offers. It truly is stunning. And here we're flying from Queenstown to Cromwell in New Zealand, my home country. Now 
Now just sit back and enjoy the rest of the flight if you'd like to. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a thumbs up. And enjoy the beautiful scenery as we come into land in the next few minutes. Thanks for watching.